EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the South American country of Argentina and its capital city, Buenos Aires. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Desperados of Buenos Aires. from deep in the end zone he's going to bring this out and the decision to bring it out not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. First play, going to throw it. That's complete. Terry McClure with it. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because, you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. You look at this Niner defense. This unit, they've struggled a little bit against the pass, ranked number 21 in the league. And you see the starting unit here, but really, you're going to see a lot of different personnel, a lot of different packages as they rotate in and out throughout the game. Here's a second and nine now for the 29. Keep it rolling, boys. Keep it rolling. Keep it moving on. Keep them catching up, man. Take it all away. Let's go. Run. 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 They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. simple there CD only needing the short gain to move the chain so they didn't want to go with a deep throw they just go with that safer shorter throw and able to convert nothing wrong with that at all partner check the box right make sure you pick up the first down offense is getting established you're moving the ball you're not turning it over check 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 they like what they're doing early in the game Stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Now he'll look to throw it. He's going to let this one go deep. And that could be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. 
Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Hal throwing on third down here. A nice job there on the escape and scramble at first down, a 16-yard gain. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Pal to the air on first and ten. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown! Terry McLaurin, his fourth touchdown of the year. And the Desperados get the other hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You have a lot to handle in this one. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Ayu goes in motion. On first down, Mahomes. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. to him in space pays off big time that winds up going for 31 it it's early but announcer cliche alert here big players make big plays should i say in big games too ah oh, what the heck and this defense they're gonna have to find some way to slow him down as this game goes on because when this combination is going good they can tear your secondary apart now a first down carry it's williams and down inside the 15, shot of the 10. 49 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries of the ball game. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play call, and you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. It's second and seven from the nine. Here's Mahomes to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown for the Raiders. Jelani Woods. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Moody good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it, each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line.
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Three and two, their record through the first five games of the year as they got the victory last week. It's still early, just October, but... And it's intercepted. And the 49ers are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Jet sweep to start the drive. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Mahomes going to throw. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of look at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot. So you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands. Oh, his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35 yard line. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. And it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. And this will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Mahomes. 
Mahomes to throw on second down. Rush coming in, he's taken down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. No way for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This one swung out to Williams. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And Jake Moody now on for the field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Fence back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. It's like, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now here's a throw. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Wide open receiver complete. And touchdown. out on the field and they will send this one away here comes Harris out of the end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 the 49er offense set to get this drive underway last time I remember their drive stalled but thanks to their kicker who had a long field that at least get him through now and in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. The slot man in motion right. Come 
Mahomes again here on second and ten. Find Williams on the check down. And some space here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. And again, it's Mahomes. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. Now inside the 25, Javante Williams. And the score It's a 49er touchdown. Javante Williams. 41 yards. And the Niners will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Stop defense. Moody good with the extra point. And that'll make this a six-point game. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Here's second and ten. First down, fellas. Off play action. It's Howe. Oh, they want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. He's got his target. That's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Now looking to throw again. the ball away and it falls incomplete. To this point I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free and there's another example another incompletion. After the incompletion here now third and two. to throw how he's going to take another shot here and unable to connect incomplete they give him credit they took their shot but it's going to bring up fourth down and they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break they know they're in for a fight so they're trying to make every possession count they take the big shot there but it winds up incomplete 
So here we go, fourth down. Hell. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range, and a chance to tack on three before intermission. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. Oh, some strong running. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first time. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Racing to the end zone. And he will take this one. It's a touchdown. So this game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, you know, it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And that's a lesson learned from the previous drive. Last time he forced one, and it turned into a pick six. Here, he knows better, and he just throws that one away. Throwing now is Mahomes. It gets it complete to Harris. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Oh, they're changing this at the line. And audible here to get a new look. Mahomes throwing on fourth. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Marking down at the 49. Mahomes to throw once more. 
gets caught. He's at the 25. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big pickup of 38. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. set up a second and seven. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Drake London from 10. And the 49ers have retaken a third quarter lead. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the draw. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And into the end zone. Six for the 49 D as they score the touchdown. But that offense trying to erase that deficit, get a little bit closer here and climb back into this game in the third quarter. Instead, they further their disadvantage, Charles, with a pick six. And that defense came out willing to do anything necessary to defend that lead. I think they looked around the huddle and said, who's going to make the big play? Who's it going to be? And the person just ended up in the end zone with the football, he was the one that answered the bell. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Bring it in. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's affected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? A throw left side, caught by the tight end, Fryermuth. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Second down and eight. Throwing here, Howell. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Faking the handoff. Howell. And it is caught. And this 
will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 37. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Powell changing the play here. He'll look to throw. And it's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 25-yard line. With the play fake, and now here's how to throw it. This is caught. Touchdown. A great play. for this third quarter. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here comes Harris out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good. He's dropped at the 17. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move forward. Come on, dude. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. And quickly, they get to the line. Mahomes going to throw. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. throwing on second down. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Touchdown for the Niners. Woods, his second 
touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Moody good with the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need. Of and his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Niners are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. But with the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys, they've been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Got a man, it's London. So the completion good for seven. And third down and six to go. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now here's Mahomes. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. This is intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Powell to throw. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Option play. Here's Robinson. Zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Here's first down. Here's Howell. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now. Because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And he's just going to run right into that big old defensive end. And that play going nowhere. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. 
touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Big two-point conversion it. attempt Watch still to come. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. We, we got this. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Pal throwing for it. Escaping the pressure right. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get it. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands, he just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Come here, boys. Go, take the door. Come on, take the baby. Big hit. Go. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, They've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they get the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now a second timeout called for by the defense, as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Back to throw, Mahomes. And he's going to be taken down, set back around the 18-yard line. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to a one-possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case... These offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So for San Francisco, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Buenos Aires, the loss here will move them back to 500 at three and three. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to MetLife Stadium to take on the New York Giants.